Hello, my name is Will Strauss and I'm a Principal Analytics Consultant and Sigma Expert with PH Data. In this next installment of our Sigma Made Simple series, I will explain the power of metrics and how to create them in your databases or connections. Let's pull up an example. And here we go. So for a quick definition, metrics are Sigma's semantic layer between raw data ingestion and data analysis for defining custom reusable aggregation calculations. For this example, I used a CSV export from the San Francisco restaurant's Sigma sample database and then reloaded it as a new table. The reason I did that is because you must have edit rights for a database or the connection to create new metrics. If you don't have edit rights, you can still use them in a workbook. Uh, you could still ingest and play with the metrics, but you do have to have right access. So I've uploaded this data source. You could see here, this is uh, health code violation data for a particular business ID on a date, the violation type, the risk category, and the risk definition. So let's create some metrics. You could see I've already added a few in here relative to date. So if I wanna make sure that any time I can pull up what the last week is and use that in a calculation in a data element or show it in a, in a visualization or at the top of the page, that calculation now exists in my underlying data. All I had to do was write it here. I also created the latest week violation count. Again, I can use a metric within a metric. Let's create a new one here. What I'm really interested, I wanna create a table that's available to my viewers that just shows the business ID, the number of violations they had all time, the number of violations they had in the last week, and the number of violations that are in a high risk category. So we can create a new metric here. We're gonna call this latest week high risk. Just gonna paste in the calculation that I already had listed here. You can see it's already updated and give me the total for the whole area. So this is just, again, this is a, a conditional statement count number of rows we don't have to worry about count distinct because each violation has a distinct row if the risk category is high and this truncated version of the date in each row is the same as our latest week that we already found again using a metric within a metric return the value publish now that metric is saved and available to be used so let's go explore this brings me right into a workbook where I can play with this data set and let's make our table. So I'm gonna make a quick child table and we'll stick this right next to it so it's not too long of a view. And I'm gonna go ahead and just increase this font a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Wonderful, that was nice and easy. So now I have this here. We're gonna group this by business ID and we're gonna take the violation type so we could see the difference here. We're gonna add it in some, we don't want it to sum, we want it to be a count. Okay, so business ID 10 has 10 total violations over the full history of our data. Now, when I come back here to metrics and I bring in the latest week, so just in the last week available, how many total violations did they have? Five, wonderful. Now we have that information updated. How many of just the high risk? Three. So you could, as you could see, it is following the grouping of the child table that we made, but not confusing the level of aggregation across any of the other fields. This makes it super easy to bring metrics, bring information from one element to another, and not having to worry about very, very complicated calculations or filter controls or exclusion details or whatever you can think of to come up with the right number. It's just built right into your data. Please check out the links in the post that we have here for LinkedIn for some other resources on metrics, including this awesome blog by my colleague Katrina Many and some other awesome resources from Sigma. Remember, you can follow our hashtag Sigma Made Simple series on LinkedIn to be notified when our newest daily video is released. And thank you again from all of us here at PH Data, Sigma Computing's premier service provider.